All right, guys, before we get into it, man, let me know in the comment section, what do you like to eat when we're watching these videos? Me personally, I like to eat a lot when I'm watching, but I try not to do it because it's really annoying on the camera. <laughs> and to be honest, I start sounding like a horse. No, remember when that lady said... <laughs> what? You got to get back on. You got to come over here. Come on. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. You got to get it out. <laughs> when you were eating Doritos in one of the reactions and the lady said, please don't snack. It's very distracting. <laughs> yeah. But when I first started, man, I was just looking at some of the greats and they were eating. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I can enjoy a snack. It's you know? acceptable, right? Yeah. You let me know. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys are munching on because I'm going to be very envious. I'm going to start thinking about it while we're eating. <laughs> we're finishing up Game of Thrones today. This show's stakes have never been higher. Things are going crazy. Mrs. October is... Ready to go, so we're about to dive in. All right, let's go. Let's go. Here we go, dude. So far, nothing new on the map yet. Maybe next season. That just burst into flames, I swear. Whoa. Or the light action? Is it for real? That looked thing? crazy to me. That didn't seem natural. Unless they shot arrows, I didn't see. <gasps> no! No, like that damn Pokemon, too. <laughs> you know what's on the map? Yeah, Ponytail. 20 men rode into our camp without a single guard sounding the alarm. The Northern is no more about oh. that than we ever will. Put last night's guards in chains. Either they fell asleep or they conspired with the enemy. Find out the truth and then hang them. We're not returning to Castle Black. But if we can't march forward and we won't march back, have the dead horses butchered for me. Man, Ramsey got it done. That's He's so crazy. annoying. He's so annoying. <laughs> Melisandre was chill about it, though, wasn't she? Surprisingly, right? She's, She's always chill. She so saw that know. happening and she was just like, hmm. Maybe she saw it in the fire or something. That was my first thought. Yeah, I thought it was too. Well, my first thought was it was a vision or something. Right. Instantly. Oh my gosh. This looks so cool, though. This shot. But look how. I can, all, I, all I'm saying is I can understand why he's concerned. Right. Look at that army. Open the gates. Yeah, John probably just saved y'all's lives, though. Every one of them is alive because of you and no one else. I don't think that fact's lost on them. Yeah, John essentially could have ended the war that's been going on forever. He chose not to. How did the giant get there, though? Did he swim? <clears throat> yeah, he just swam through the water. Dang, dude. Got on that ship. You have a good heart, John Snow. It'll get us all killed. <laughs> I mean, hey, backhanded compliment. You basically just said you're a fool. I'm sending you back to Castle Black. Tell the Lord Commander his king commands him to send food, supplies, fresh horses. In return, when I take the throne, I'll make sure the Night's Watch has all the men it requires. The king's hand should never abandon the king, especially in time of war. You're not abandoning me, you're obeying a command. The boy with the scroll could deliver this message. And if Jon Snow refuses the boy with the scroll, what does the boy say? I didn't name your hand for your expertise in military matters, right? For Castle Black, don't come back empty handed. My whole thing was I was wondering if Melisandre was trying to get rid of him. Yeah, me too. At least let me take Shireen. The siege is no place for a little girl. My family stays with me. What's this one now? The Dance of Dragons. That's the title of this well, that um, like episode. Story. I made you something, Princess. Aww. That's a good gift because that took like time, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Will you make me a dough too? That he can have company. Of course I will. Oh. <laughs> She's adorable. Why am I getting a present? Because you deserve it. My son was always on me, trying to teach me to read. The gods are stubborn about us. This is my own poor way of saying thank you for teaching me to be a grown up. I'll be gone for a few days, Princess. I want to hear all about the Dance of Dragons when I'm back. You'll read it yourself. <laughs> there you go. So he's grown especially close to her, especially because he lost his son, right? Yeah. And she just, <clears throat> like, helped him to read it. It was the cutest, man. Right. Oh, that spear is crazy. I know. What a lovely dress. You must be cold. The Dornish climate agrees with me. <laughs> How's your jaw? Flea bite. What are you doing, <laughs> Looking after the safety of my niece, Princess Marcella. And rather than send a raven or speak to me directly, you decided to enter my country in secret and abduct our guest by force. We received a threatening message. That necklace was stolen from my room. The last meal before the beheading. Oh, I can't behead you. <laughs> Many in Dorne want war, but I've seen war. I don't want to lead my people into that hell. No, you want to break bread with the Lannisters. And that is precisely what we are doing. Let us drink to Tommen, the first of his name, king of the Andals, and the first men, lord of the seven kingdoms. <laughs> so he wants peace and she wants blood, huh? Yeah. I'm just wondering why they're even in the same room, though. I don't know how she is like the... The Oberyn's not here. <laughs> king Tommen insists 
on his sister's return cannot disobey my king's command. She will return with you to King's Landing. And my son, Prince Tristane, will accompany you both. If the alliance between the Iron Throne and Dawn is to continue, their engagement must stand. I like That's his fair. diplomacy. My brother was named to the small council before his death. Your father understood the importance of keeping Dorn in the fold. With Oberyn gone, Tristane will take his place on the small council. You have my word. The word of a king's slave. <laughs> <laughs> She's so mad. Stand. You have no spine. In-laws, man. May I inquire as to the fate of my man, Bronn? Tell me, Sir Jamie, in King's Landing, how do they punish a commoner who strikes a prince? He said it was just a flea bite. He did say that, didn't he? He did. <clears throat> Fault is mine. Bronn is merely a soldier following my orders. If anyone should be punished, it's me. Prince Tristane must learn judgment if he's to rule one day. I'll let him decide. I have learned the value of mercy from my father. I'll set your man free on one condition. Uh -oh. you, can I say something? What? Jamie right there was very diplomatic. That was impressive. Yeah, he was. That was a good job. Am I going to be happy at the end of this walk? You'll find out very soon. Dang. Just tell him. Say it one more time, Hansel. Who am I? The most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> and that's the truth. Prince Duran, Sabran of the Blackwater. I didn't realize there were knights of the Blackwater. Only the one. I believe you've already met Prince Tristane. Sorry about the other day. Agreed to grant you your freedom. I'm glad to hear it. Pie looks good. <laughs> condition. Oh. That was the condition? That wasn't bad. You got off easy. I know. Oh, here she goes. <laughs> I don't she know why it's so funny. Because she's like the dude at the stadium. Like when you're at the game, you know? Oh, heck no. Nah. I like Arya's hair. I know. Oh, she's got it. What is she looking at? Who does she see? It looked like uh, Tyrell. Oh, man. What, does he know her? No. She knows him. Tyrell, on behalf of the Iron Bank, may I be the first to welcome you. Free city of Bravos. I hope your journey was trouble free. Bit of chop the last few days. Yeah, this beef goes back a long ways right here, remember? Sir Marin yeah. is on her list. Yeah, I know. We are not gamblers here at the Iron Bank, though, Tyrell. You are the world's best gamblers. And all those bets you won built to this. So give me a kiss by the long canal. <laughs> give me two kisses in salty town. And he's trying to win that guy over? Yeah. Oh, that'd be cringing me out. I'd be like, no, no. Well, that guy's like, all right, all right, go back. Singing. The Tyrells can all rot in hell. The sleekest little minx in Bravos. The sleekest little minx. <laughs> Come here, sweetness. They say oysters get the juices flow. Here's a silver. Because the lady likes you. Arya's kind of giving me some serial killer vibes, though. <laughs> I think it's funny she's selling oysters in the brothel. <laughs> right. <laughs> she took that show on the road. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> right, that's the vibe I'm getting. Our most expensive girl, but well worth it. Don't say too old. Too old. Come on, dude. Do you have what I want or not? Of course. Who let this girl in? Shoot, shoot. Oh wait, was he thinking I know you or was he thinking some grosser stuff? I was thinking I was thinking he was thinking some gross stuff. Ugh, bro, what the heck? Don't say too old. Good. Oh heck no. Nah. Arya's gonna move him up the list. You'll have a fresh one for me tomorrow. Of course. She's just as guilty saying, of course. The whole, yeah, everybody in their room is guilty. I'll have you whipped, girl. Go, go on. Out, out, go. Your rebellion is over. You can swear your allegiance to me now. Or you can die. Whoa. I know, what the heck? But just the fact that she's been so hard-headed about it the whole time makes me not trust this. I believe in second chances. I don't believe in third chances. She kind of bent the knee really quick, didn't she? I didn't think she would do it that fast. That's what I'm saying. She was so prideful. That was such a contrast that it almost seemed like just manipulation. Like sketchy, right? Like big picture. She's willing to kneel for her shot at rebellion. You read like a seven-year-old. <laughs> Maester kindly greeted copied over for me. We didn't try to make you pay. The queen would be thrilled to know you're bringing her daughter home. She will. You love her very much, don't you? You think I disapprove. Why? Because people disapprove of that sort of thing where you are from. They disapproved of Oberyn and me where you are from. Here, no one blinked an eye. A hundred years ago, no one would have blinked an eye at you. It's always changing who we're supposed to love and who we're not. The only thing that stays the same is that we want who we want. I know your daughter had no part in the terrible thing that happened to the man I love. Perhaps even you are innocent of that. I mean, that seems sincere. I don't really know what to think about that. Father. What are you reading? 
Dance of Dragons is the story of the fight between Rhaenyra Targaryen and her half brother Dragon for control of the Seven Kingdoms. Both of them thought they belonged on the Iron Throne. Brothers fought brothers. Dragons fought dragons. Thousands were dead. And it was a disaster for the Targaryens as well. They never truly recovered. The Dance of Dragons? Why is that a dance? It's just what they call it. If you'd had to choose between Rhaenyra and Aegon, who would you have chosen? I wouldn't have chosen either. Sometimes a person has to choose. Sometimes the world forces his hand. If a man knows what he is and remains true to himself, the choice is no choice at all. He must fulfill his destiny and become who he is meant to be, however much he may hate it. It's all right, Father. You don't even know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter. I want to help you. Yes, there is. Good, I want to. I'm the Princess Shireen of House Baratheon, and I'm your daughter. Hmm. She's so sweet. Forgive me. Forgive you. My thing is, is how is she gonna help? I don't know. I don't want her mixed up with any of this. No. There just ain't no shot. And they sent they sent what's his name off too, dude. So that way he can't protest it. She's a witch. No, this can't. She ain't worth a damn right there. It has to be leeches, right? Where's my father? I want to see my father. It will all be over soon. Oh my god. Where is Stannis? Bro, guys, I can't I can't get behind Stannis no more. This is too far for Oh my god. What a rat there he is. Oh my god. Both are her parents. It's what the Lord wants. It's a good thing. A great thing. Here is now, my lord. For you we offer up this girl. You may cleanse her with your fire, and that its light may lead our way. If we don't act, we'll all starve here. All of us. But if we make this sacrifice, accept this token of our faith, my lord, and lead us from the darkness. Oh my god. Lord of light, show us the mother, please, mother! mother! Is she even shedding a tear? No other way. Oh, she's blood. Lord of light, protect us. Please, father! For the light please! is dark and full of tears. Mother, please! Mother, no, please! Please, help! Stannis is going to get her off, right? Please. Bro, they're oh chasing God. her down. Even her. Man, what in the world? Oh my God. Well, gotta find someone else to root for. Oh my gosh. How can you do this? There just ain't no shot. Bro, he needs to go see Ramsey. Oh my God. Ramsey needs to go, go teach this man a lesson. Crazy, bro. Guys, I got a question. Can I ask you a question? Uh, I, I'm not really sure, but you know how they said that like the show is how do i say it so they're basically saying well whenever george martin gets out of the show it becomes like bad or whatever the case may be were, were people divided on this was this in the book just let us know because um this was a huge character thing for stannis yeah and like there was hints that it was coming for sure i can't get behind stannis no more that's too far like i said i, I did not think that that was gonna happen Honestly, my hope is that he gets beat by Ramsey and Ramsey ties him up and gives him a little bit of that reek treatment because you kind of deserve it for that, my dude. That's too much. Dude, that sweet little girl. There just ain't no way. I'd, I'd burn Melisandre if I burn her. Yes, Melisandre got to go first. Holy cow, look at this. Dang. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Kieran's like, I want spot in those bits. <laughs> Where have you been? Just making sure everything is in order. That's so sick. This one's way more organized than that one she went to. It's the big leagues right here. Yeah. Those Targaryen flags draped over everything looks so tough. Yeah, I know. They're so nice. They're quick. She just is not like that. She's like, I wish neither one of y'all did. I know. They're waiting for you. I'd be like, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. You would just have them cook something. Yeah, I'd be like, against each other. I'm like, let's pick three ingredients. <laughs> Today I'm beating Bobby Flay. <laughs> she just clapped. Yeah, but people are right. This is a distraction from all the politics and like the chaos and like. A lot of it, you gotta. Putting my money anywhere. Kings and queens never bet on the games. People used to bet against me when I fought in the pits. You would have bet against me. Common novice mistake. I've spent yeah. much of my life in this arena. Has your experience ever involved any actual fighting? Have you ever tried to kill another man who was trying to kill you? <laughs> and then he, then the quick one dies. Yeah, because that was a quick little swipe. Look, look at it, look at his right. <laughs> don't approve. There's always 
been more than enough death in the world for my taste. But what great thing has ever been accomplished without killing or cruelty? It's easy to confuse what is with what ought to be, especially when what is has worked out in your favor. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about the necessary conditions for greatness. That is greatness. That is a vital part of the greatness. That was the ball boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> long before you or I. They had a clean up crew and everything. Long after we've returned to the dirt. <laughs> like in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love when they do modern things in the show like yeah. that. <laughs> One day your great city will return to the dirt as well. He's doing too much arguing out there. Right, that's not clean, shut dude. His mouth. If it comes to that, they will have died for a good reason. Those men think they're dying for a good reason. Someone else's reason. They don't know their own minds, but you do. You're an eloquent man. Doesn't mean you're wrong. In my experience, eloquent men are right. Every bit as often as imbeciles. Jockey Oswald dies. Go, Jorah. I want you to win. Your grace, shut your mouth. That is a deep, complex relationship that I'm not quite sure what's going on. Right, but. Because they might low key be in love. Yeah, I know. But I love her necklace. I'm just not even going to lie about that. The necklace is insane. It looks like my Aunt Kathy would wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say she wears like wolf shirts and stuff? Yeah. No, she would not wear that. Yes, she would. Growing up, she would get that jump, like the dragon dagger from the flea market. <laughs> I love you, Aunt Kathy, if you're seeing this. <laughs> Let's go, Jordan. <gasps> that was the dithraking. Oh, he's got a needle. Oh. Yeah, he's a he's from Bravos. It's cool how there's different fighting styles. Yeah, kind of like in mixed martial arts with like different swords and stances and stuff. Yep, Love and different that. weapons. Ooh. Like Jora wears armor because he's a knight. <laughs> Dang, why are you slicing? Hmm. Now you better put your damn eyes on the opponent. Yes, I was about to say you can't lose to that guy. Styles meet fights. Let's go. Oh, nice. The bear roll. Man, if that man rolled at me like that, I would just be like, yo, yo. you know what I'm saying? I would jump over him. Yeah, I wouldn't let that happen. I would jump over him. Well fought. Oh. oh. Damn, what a throw. My man aged like Brett Favre. Right? I thought he was trying to assassinate her husband. Y'all are there oh, infiltrating. Like a damn terror attack or something. No. Ah oh, man. This is crazy. There's just like an ambush there at her. That's nuts. How is she going to get out of this, though? I know. <gasps> oh, man. Wrote his ass off, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Jeez. George's back on board. <laughs> yes, like sir. Ty oh, Tyrion. Okay. Yes. Tyrion's out there like Chucky. <laughs> This is crazy. This is chaos, isn't it? Yeah. Where's Grey Worm? Like, this is insane because it's so, like, modern day in a way because they're just in a stadium. And look, they just keep rushing out, man. They're everywhere. We're surrounded. Are there any armies in your back pocket that you can think of to come help? No. Look at them just standing there. They don't even have a weapon. <laughs> oh, my God. Something's got to give. Did she oh, summon it? Now, that's what it seemed like. Is that that boy Drogon? Oh. Oh, he's mad. He said, y'all gonna mess with my mama and mess with you. How about that? That's crazy, though. Like that shot. <laughs> I'm surprised anybody trying to throw a spear at him at least. <laughs> Now they're gonna get Dracarys. But isn't he doing this without her telling him to? Well, she's bonded to her, remember? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> but don't they have spears and stuff? Like, chill. What? Bro, she's riding him. What? No way. Is she going to start riding that dragon around? That's, that's what Aegon. That's what Aegon did, right? Oh, they yeah. They rode dragons. They used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have known this was coming. Well, I, didn't, I just didn't picture her doing it, honestly. <laughs> right. Tyrion's like, what in the... Tyrion's like, they just left the hell out of us. <laughs> 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 we about to get stabbed up. Right? <laughs> that was wow. nuts. What in the crap? Guys, like seriously, 
she just left her whole team. She <laughs> hopped on that dragon and said, "Peace." Too bad y'all don't got. Too bad y'all don't got a dragon. Like, <laughs> too bad. I hate it for y'all. But it was crazy. She closed her eyes and it came. Yeah, but I don't know if that was like this good timing. Like I don't know if it was like way ahead of your mom. You know what I'm saying? If it was one of I those thought she things. was warging. Well, my thing. Oh, you thought that? Yeah. <laughs> well, my thing is like as soon as she shut her eyes, he was there. So he must have known before. He well, he must have just been on the way. Um, <laughs> I was insane, funny. guys. Uh, we'll talk about the whole thing at the end. Is there? Let's just discuss it now. So because sometimes I have a hard time remembering what to talk about. From that this was the episode. episode nine. First of all, oh my god! You yes, that? you know what I forgot, dude, Shireen. That was the worst freaking part. Yeah, that had a. Oh my gosh! That made you completely forget about that whole thing. Because yeah, they're like, hey, let's fly some dragons. You done forgot about Shireen? No, I didn't. I let's let's Shireen. take it to the beginning, man. Jamie pulls up, bronze in captivity. <laughs> uh, the diplomatic version of Jamie comes out, which I was very impressed with. His acting there was very strong, and uh, just what a great moment by Jamie right there, handling things mm -hmm. and really being someone who. Is basically brokering peace, and I love that from Jamie. Good job by you, dude. Uh, He's gonna were, bring her home, right? Right. Do we? We didn't get anything really from the Ramsey storyline in this, do we? N yeah, Ramsey burnt all those people in Stannis's. He had twenty people, and he burnt all those things. So yeah, yeah, that, yeah I forgot about he's that. He's the reason scene, why yeah. they had to bur how, why they burnt Shireen. because they're down on their luck again. Yeah, and they just need to keep making sacrifices. Yeah, Stannis, you're wild for that. So this was the day that I really realized that I just can't rock with Stannis anymore. I was really hoping um, that he would get rid of Melisandre at some point. I was just hoping that. You can't just you just can't be sacrificing people, right? right? Like, like, okay, so to an extent, I can you know if you're really buying into the prophecy, I can understand. But at some point, your own flesh and blood, like that, has to be a part where you're just like, man, there's just no nothing I could do in this world that means more than that. So you know, well, what I'm I mean, my thing is like, if if bro, if if I have to do all that, man, you better it's come not tell me. Like, like, you better come tell me face to face. Jeez Louise. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to take somebody's word for it and burn my kid. There's right. just no way. I don't feel like God would ask that of me, first of yeah, all. Yeah, the Lord of Light better come. Yeah, he better come from me. You better me. come he, ask me your damn self. It better be you know his seal on that thing. Right, right. Like, I'm going to need wild. some assurances. Uh, I can't rock with Stannis no more, man. I cannot believe that he done that. That was really gross of Stannis. And, right. you know, a lot of people got mad when I said it about Theon. But, dude, once you're out there burning kids up, man, like, I just it's can't. That's crazy. That's the line. That's just the line for me. Like, I understand that death and murder and all that is going to happen in the show. Once you're doing it to kids intentionally, especially, like, you're using them as pawns like that. And and uh, Stannis, it was 100% calculated on Stannis' side because... He sent Davos off for a reason. Yeah, that's what I was saying yeah, in real time. Like, yeah. yeah, like when he sent Davos off, he knew that if he if Davos was there, he would not have stood for it. And right. he would not have allowed it. And then that poor girl's mama finally broke down when it really came to it. Because she was so game. And then when she yeah. realized the brutality of it, she finally broke. Which is weird to me, man. Like, if you're going to break, just don't be about that action in the mm -hmm. first place. That's just too much for me. But um, yeah, she was all dang near like insinuating it. The most. Well, I think she's yeah. very brainwashed. Right. Yes. And I think she's been like, well, she's so hurt by the process. Like, uh, for example, like her husband cheated on. Yeah, her, she's like just she normalized just, the heck out of it. Exactly. Over for the Lord she's of the Light. Yeah. 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 Hundred percent. Um. And I mean, but from her point of view, I can kind of see because she's been through a lot. Like, remember they were like starving and like eating like horse binding and books yeah. and stuff. So like. I can see where it's been like a really hard struggle for her. So like she's finally kind of having somewhere to eat and live. Yeah, so she I can see why the Lord of the Light would kind of be an attractive thing in her mind. My thing is like, you know, when you're single with no kids, you can starve. You can right. live in a car. You can you can be homeless. You can live in the bushes. It's all good. I mean, mm -hmm. dude, without kids, you're Superman. Or at, least, at least you should be right. But the minute you have kids, that's when you become vulnerable. So my thing is. Your whole entire purpose in life, I don't understand how it could be anything other than like protecting and raising your kids. So once you're sacrificing that, then what's right. the cause anymore at this point? Right. Like what my thing is that. like what did, what were they thinking? They were gonna like be on the iron throne knowing they sacrificed their child. Like that's they're just gonna be normal about that. I guess the whole idea is is for the greater good, yada yada yada. I don't wanna get too caught up into it, man. They did what they did. But I just can't can't rock with you no more. Stuff stuff to Stannis. I hope you become uh well instead of reek what would you say maybe like like squeak the king who the king who the king who broiled broiled <laughs> i don't know um and then obviously in the end dragons pull up hot whenever it's going down and that was nuts life. man and and her like future husband died 
my thing is is like does that mean was that symbolic like is that going to be a problem because i understand the sons of the harpy it, it seemed like in the end they sort of all disappeared yada 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 but right. daenerys doesn't know they easily could just pull back in right and the she, thing is, she completely left everyone who's so loyal to her she hopped on her dragon and sort right. of like chose her loyalties at that point uh-huh. it was either abandon her people or save her dragon she sort of went save her dragon but maybe right. it's because she knows her dragon's more valuable so i don't know what to think about that i'm not trying to badmouth daenerys guys i'm really not I'm right. just saying it was weird that she just kind of left, but they all kind of just looked like in a maze. They didn't even really like were they were like, oh, my God, you left us. They were like and they were kind of like in save the queen defense. So my, my whole thing is I've been looking for spears. <laughs> uh, guys, don't go anywhere. We got another episode. We are finishing this series or this season right here, right now. Let's go. Let's go. That was crazy. And just for uh, I can't wait for more dragon riding though. That's actually cool. Like that was sick. Okay, like unlike know, Dune, where they yeah, were I was worms, about to say the worm riding. You no, know, okay. I'm so sorry. Please don't. Cancel. Like maybe maybe we'll, we'll give him another chance, but mother's Ooh. mercy, mercy is my mother's name. <laughs> Icicles. We gotta sacrifice another baby. <laughs> my ice is melting. <laughs> oh wow, that's crazy. Oh my god, I didn't even think about it. Too annoying, like, bro. This the Lord of Light has made good on his promise, my king. The way ahead is clear. You ride for Winterfell. The Lord has shown me Bolton banners burning. You will receive what is yours by right. Pissed. But is it worth it? Like, you killed your daughter, you know what I'm saying? Is that worth it? Were those heads? I'm not sure. Your grace, many deserted before dawn. <gasps> uh oh. Nearly half. Oh, man. That swords with all the horses. What? are you gonna do he said they'll burn his daughter they'll sell my cell sword ass or burn my cell sword but mm -hmm. sorry okay. censorship <gasps> what cut her down cut her down yourself bro oh my gosh Your grace the lady Melisandre was just seen riding out of camp dude she left is she working for the boltons or something oh my god what if the whole time she was working for her? i'm just saying that's a crazy crazy thought what if she pulls up to ramsey and she's like i told you ramsey i saw it in the lights oh, oh he's pissed he raised his hands and they all stood up at once tens of thousands of them the biggest army in the world i want to hope they don't learn how to climb the wall the dragon glass no one's ever getting that back now it wouldn't have mattered anyway unless we had a mountain of it you killed a white walker with long claw how many Valyrian steel swords are left in the Seven Kingdom? The first Lord Commander in history to sacrifice the lives of Swan Brothers to save the lives of Wildlands. Tough times, John. Right. As it feel to be friends with the most hated man in Castle Black. You were friends with me when I first came here, and I wasn't winning any elections back then. No. Then. Long may this near. Send me, Gilly, and the baby to Old Town so I can become a maester. That's what I'm meant to be, not this. If you leave, who's left to give me advice I trust? Well, his head. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. I'd be more used to you as a maester. More used to everyone now Maester Eamon's gone. That would be good. The yeah. Citadel has the world's greatest library. I learn about history, strategy, healing, and other things. Things that will help when, when they come. There you go. You're going to need some brains. Gilly stays here, then she'll die. And the baby that she named after me will die. And I'll end up dying too, trying to protect them. I think that's wise, though. Which means that the last thing I'll see in this world will be the look in her eyes when I fail them. Yeah, until everybody gets pissed because John sent him off just because he's got a girlfriend and a baby. Yeah, true. Sam deserves you know what it. You the Citadel, they'll make you swear off women, too. Oh, they'll bloody try. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, man, now. So, Sam technically is the biggest pimp there. <laughs> just been beaten half to death, how did you? Very carefully. <laughs> I'm glad the end of the world's working out well for someone. Oh, don't guilt him, John. <laughs> <laughs> Come back to your return. Oh, to my return. John said basically it's the end of the world. Go on. <laughs> John might be the most emotional Lord Commander I've seen. He's in the trenches the most, Lord Commander. Yeah. I'm not hating on it, but you know, the other ones are just so like stoic. You know what I mean? Yeah. What the heck's gonna happen? What is Stannis gonna do, man? He's got nothing left. There she is. What you up to? Maybe Sansa can escape in this chaos, dude. She could, maybe. Her costumes are sick too. I know. Oh, it's pod. <laughs> Oh, that's that would be a crazy sight. <laughs> He's like, oh shoot! Yeah, you better hide, brother. <laughs> nah, I ain't leaving that rabbit though. Stannis Baratheon is coming. His whole army. How do you know it's Stannis? He's carrying his flaming heart, Stannis, from the Blackwater. Oh 
never forget it. Oh, oh no. Oh my god, yeah, she's ready to go. <clears throat> she's about to go get involved in this? No. I don't want her to get hurt. Like, I gotta root for somebody <clears throat> at this point. Yeah. So far, like her, Sansa, Arya. Oh, is she about to go light it? She's got friends in the north. <gasps> no! She's not gonna see. She's gonna be too focused on trying to kill Stannis and save Sansa, huh? I am heartbroken for her. His army needs some damn chef with our gear or something. Party hungry. Immediately, siege begins at sunrise. It's not going to be a siege, Your Grace. What does he see? Uh oh. They're coming to fight. Is that the Boltons? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's why Sansa has a vacuum right here to light a candle. She would never be able to get away with it. Oh my gosh. I hope Ramsay's in the front line and dies first. Don't you think you should retreat? Oh my gosh, y'all don't have nobody. Look at half those people retreating. I didn't like their odds with a full army. This is so stressful. They're just circling them. Oh, man, I hated you. Man, I loved you for a long time, Stannis. Me too. I don't like to see this. Ah. Uh, Please don't be Ramsay. Please don't. Not Ramsay. No shot. Oh, he's not going down without a fight. He's too big of a character to be killed off on them two dudes. I wonder what's going through his mind. Bolton has women fighting for him. I don't fight for the Boltons. I'm Brienne of Tarth. I was Kingsguard to Renly Baratheon. Just kill him until he, he better, he might kill you. Murder by shadow with your face. He's like, I don't know about that. You murdered him with blood magic. I did. Oh, wow. In the name of Renly of House Baratheon, first of his name, rightful king of the Andals and the first men, I, Brienne of Tarth, sentence you to die. Wow. Are you really about to do it? Do you have any last words? I'm scared Ramsey's going to sneak up behind her and, you know what I'm saying? Kill her real quick. Go on, do your duty. We're done here. He's Looks so annoying. like we're done here. <laughs> Let's head back. My wife must be lonely. Oh, he's so annoying. Wow. Oh my gosh. So Those much are going to sit up there for a long time. Heck yeah. It's winter, you know. You better put that candle out. <gasps> my lady, I've come to escort you back to your chamber. I know what Ramsay is. I know what he'll do to me. I'm going to die. Let it happen while there's still some of me left. Who said anything about dying? Dude, you're Can't like. Die. Your father was warden of the north. Ramsey needs you. Shall we wait for him to come back, or should we begin now? You're leaving it to me. Good. Let's begin. Yes. Yes. Stop. Stop. Yes. yes. That is not good. Ramsey is gonna be pissed. Nah, she just fell. It wasn't. It wasn't anyone's fault. Oh hell no. Nah. How are you gonna do that? Oh my gosh. I mean, do you have to be like the biggest freak of all time or what? Who the heck enjoys that? Who is this tough cookie over here? Is that the- I can see I have my work cut out for me. I was gonna say, is that the redheaded dude? Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, but nah. What? <gasps> Arya! Whoa! Yes, Arya? Whoa, 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 whoa! She's not very graceful when she does it, is she? Mm -mm. You were the first person on my list, you know, for killing Sirio Pharrell. Remember him? I'm Arya Stark. Oh my God. Is she gonna no say? One. Oh my God. You're nothing. Oh my gosh. Mm. Ah, she's she's not a little girl anymore. Yeah, she kind of she kind of different. <laughs> this one got to be careful who your kids get caught up with. <laughs> <laughs> this one couldn't help it. This one got pushed everywhere. <laughs> Her and sons are on two completely different paths right now. Like, good lord. <laughs> if they ever meet up again, they might not know who each other is. Like Ramsey would mess around and find out if he accidentally tried to marry this girl. <laughs> oh. That girl has taken her life. She took it. The wrong life. I was right about her. You're not ready. Too emotional. That man's life was not yours to take. That girl stole from the many faced god. No, a debt is owed. What? Only death can pay for life. What? No! No! Don't die! What the heck? Why are you crying? He was my friend. No, he wasn't. Didn't you listen to him? He was no one. What the heck? But if you're... <laughs> who's this? No one at all. Just as a girl should have been before she took a face from the hall. Her face hmm. is not for no one. You are still someone. Oh, so she's not no one someone, yet. The faces are as good as poison. <laughs> I'll be like, mm-mm. Swipe, swipe. I can't see. 
So she drank the poison? What's happening? Hmm. What? We'll figure out more about that. Our awesome people will let us know what we missed in the comments. Right, guys? Right. Forgive me, child. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Do you think that she just poisoned her? I mean, because she just kissed her on yeah, the lips. Yeah, that was a that was an intense kiss, like for a for a goodbye. Maybe I'll come visit you sometime. Maybe I'll come visit you. Don't wait too long. Got a noble woman to marry back home. You want a good girl, but you need the best. <laughs> <laughs> hey. ready, my lord. Well, I forgot they are kind of like over sexual there, so maybe that was nothing. Maybe that just meant bye. <laughs> I'll never take it off again. But I'm glad you're coming home. Your mother's desperate to see you. I'm glad Tristane's coming with us. He seems like a nice boy. You're lucky. Arranged marriages are rarely so. Do you think mother will like him? If she sees you happy, sure she will. <laughs> and you really believe that? Have you ever known your mother to like anyone aside from her children? <laughs> right. Listen, there's something I wanted to tell you. Something I should have told you long ago. Uh oh. Now that you've seen more of the world, you've learned how complicated things can be. People can be. The Lannisters and the Martells have hated each other for years, but you fall in love with Tristane. It was an accident, really. I mean, what were the chances? You happen to fall in love with the man you were assigned to marry? <laughs> My point is, we don't choose whom we love. Oh, is this the talk? Yeah. I know. About you and Mother. Wow. I think the part of me always knew. I'm glad that you were my father. Oh, dang. Well, she thought it was Robert. <laughs> it's a load off Jamie, though. Dang. Well, let's go, bro. Y'all are going there on good terms. That's what's up. I told you. I told you. I told oh, you. Because no. that was so weird no, of her no, to no, do. No. And that's all they do is poison people. Yeah, there's... Oh, that's why they're snakes. Because yeah, they're venomous. That's right. They'll bite you. Oh, no. <laughs> She knows she did that. Isn't there son on that boat? Is he? Or is he? What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, she didn't care. See, she had it on her lips too. She's got an antidote. Uh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, dude. That lady sucks too. I don't like anyone right now. I'm starting to like Jamie. Like, what the <laughs> heck? Man, you took too damn long to take that. I know. Wow. So Jamie's just left on that boat like that. Whoa. Cersei's kid, really going to hate him. Jamie's going to throw his ass over the side. Cersei is not going to accept him back. Yeah, because you failed. You double failed. I wouldn't have let her near my daughter. Like The moment that she agreed to those terms. Bye. You can't keep, come near. Yeah, stay away from me. Dang, man. That was crazy. Both, don't you? He's like, both of y'all. Of course, it's hopeless for the both of you. Tell sword from the fighting pits, a disgraced knight. We always want the wrong woman. Does he always talk so much? <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. Hey! Torgonudo should not be here. Our queen ordered him exiled from city. Our queen would be dead if not for him. Sadreji. Tell him that before he gets in there and sees him. I know. Krobo, Niki Pesa, Kisor, Drejo Isa, Muna, Nia, Valerio, Mila Punda. That nostril. Mary, Punila. Punila. Thank you. Sorry, I'm not there to fight for our queen. You missed a good scrap. None of that. Don't go with city the Daenerys is out there in the wilderness. Dragon headed north. If we're going to find her, that's where I'll have to go. You're a Lannister. The queen intends to remove your family from power. And I intend to help her do it. You've been here for how many days now? I fought for her for years. You betrayed her. Careful now. And she exiled you twice, I believe. The second time, thanks to you. Don't blame me for your crimes, Mormont. Our queen exiled Jorah, and he's right. Jorah saved her life. Perhaps she feels differently about him now. Perhaps not. The only way we'll know is if we ask her. Fine, fine. I suppose he can join us. As long as he promises not to kill me in my sleep. If I ever kill you, your eyes will be wide open. <laughs> Forgive me, but why would we bring you? Can you fight? I mean, kind of. Yeah, I mean, like, don't claim to be a great he's still here. Are you good on a horse? Middling. So mainly you talk. <laughs> and drink. I've survived so far. <laughs> right. <laughs> you would help us here in Marine, though. None of us have experienced governing a city. So hey. Dang. You want to prove your value to the queen. Prove it right here, Marine. It's a foreign dwarf that barely speaks the language. Why would the Marinese <laughs> listen to him? They wouldn't. They will listen to Greywell. I'll come with you. I'll find our queen. You, hey, you bandage. You bandage up. He is. He's the toughest man with no balls I ever met. But you still can't go. People believe in you. They know you speak for the queen. Only the Unsullied can keep the peace in Marine. If you leave, half this city will consume the other half. The queen trusts no one more than Missandei. Certainly not me. 
Queen's closest confidant, commander of the Unsullied, and a foreign dwarf with a scarred face. <laughs> Good fortune, my friends. Marine is ancient and glorious. Try not to ruin her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't burn it down, guys. Hopefully only one of these dudes comes back. <laughs> All right, third wheel, let's go. Wait, who's the third wheel? Tyrion. Nah, him and Grey Worm are gonna be boys. This is what he wanted and he got it in like a day. <laughs> Hello, old friend. Oh, your boy. I thought we were so happy together until you abandoned me. Suppose there's no point asking how you found me. They tell me you've already found favor with the Mother of Dragons. Now the heroes are off to find her, and I'm stuck here, trying to placate a city on the brink of civil war. Any advice for an old comrade? You need to learn which of your friends are not your friends. If only I knew someone with a vast network of spies. <laughs> if only. A grand old city. Choking on violence, corruption, and deceit. Who could possibly have any experience managing such a massive, ungainly beast? Oh. But I'm confused. I did miss you. Shouldn't Daenerys want him dead? Oh, I know. Because he was spying on her. We'll see. But so what he, changed? But he did the whole, like, the rebirth of the Targaryens thing. So really, he saved Daenerys. So she'll definitely, like, be on his side with that. He saved her and gave her to Syria, which is where when we first started in season one, that's where she was at. That right. guy's. I mean, Illyrio. What's wrong with the dragon? Oh, sweet thing. Does it hurt? Those wounds. We have to go home. Can you take me back to Marine? Dang. How far did you carry me? You kids be back talking a lot. Wait, is he is he full size now? I don't know. Aww. Is he taking a nap? Well, there's no food. At the very least, you could hunt us some supper. Man, I would think twice before jumping on that dragon again. You might get stuck like a broken down car. What's wrong with him? He, mi he misses his brothers, maybe. Who's this? Oh, oh Dothraki. Dothraki. Better hope they recognize you, though, because that might be a nightmare. Why'd she take that off? So they could find her? No, she got taken? She's leaving like a bread trail. Oh. Bro, this is not good. She'll be leading all these mother suckers in about two episodes. Oh my gosh, you see that? Oh my lord. They just don't stop. They're hissing at her though. They're coming from everywhere. You know a crazy thought I just had? What? What if? What do you think it's gonna be like if Cersei ever meets her? Not Have you good. thought about that dynamic yet? No, I think they're gonna hate each other. If if they survive. Oh no. Confess. I'm like, all right, I admit it. Confess. You ugly as hell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have sinned. See that now? Can I have been so blind for so long? Not to be clean again. I want absolution. The crone came to me with her lamp raised high, and by its holy light. You wish to make a confession? So I've confessed. Will I be free? Your grace will be dealt with according to her sins. Oh. Those are terrible sins, Cersei. I know. I lay with a man outside the bonds of marriage. Name him. Lancel. Lancel Lancel. Yes. Your cousin and the king's squire. You had a husband. A husband of whoring every chance. His sins do not pardon your own. May the gods forgive me. Other men? No others? No. Speaking falsehoods before the gods is a great crime. Do you understand this? She's lying. There are those that say your children were not fathered by King Robert, but they are bastards born of incest and adultery. A lie. A lie from the lips of Stannis Baratheon. He wants the throne, but his brother's children stand in his way, so he claims they are not his brothers. How filth. I deny it. But these are terrible charges, and the realm must know the truth of them. If your grace has given honest testimony, your trial will prove your innocence. Trial? I have confessed. A single sin. Your trial will separate the truths from the falsehoods. I might beg for just one drop of the mother's mercy. I haven't seen my son. I don't know how long it's been. You have taken the first step on the path back to righteousness. In light of this, I will permit you to return to the Red Key. Mother is merciful. It is how you should think. It's so crazy seeing Cersei like this. I know, like broken down. Am I free to go? After your atonement. Atonement? My atonement? Is that Cersei? Oh, she likes this. Yeah. Y'all better kill Cersei, boy, because... She's coming for y'all. Yeah, 300%. What are they about to do? Dang, they're going to cut her shoulder. <laughs> oh, no. God, dang. Oh, they're just cutting off the dead ends. It's all good. So all of it? That's a lot of dead ends. Why do they got to do that? Maybe it's because hair to a woman is like a beauty thing. Like a beauty is like a... And it's kind of how she's a Lannister because she's like so blonde and like... Yeah, it's just to like humble her, I guess. A sinner comes before you. Cersei of House Lannister. 
mother to his grace, King Tommen, widow of his grace, King Robert. She has committed the acts of falsehood and fornication. She has confessed her sins. To demonstrate her repentance, she will cast aside all pride and present herself as the gods made her to you, the good people of the city. She comes before you with a solemn heart, shorn of secrets, naked before the eyes of gods and men to make her walk of atonement. They stripped her naked too. Oh, wow. Shame. Shame. Maybe this is Cersei's uh, villain origin story. Maybe she hasn't even been evil yet. Shame. Right. Like, I... And make no mistake, she she Shame. hates these people. But she hates these people in the Shame. crowd just as much because they're letting it happen. Mm -hmm. She can't confess for help, but she's disgusted that they're not sacrificing themselves Shame. to rescue her. So you think that she's going to be pissed, not be humble about it? Like, and Wouldn't you be? Uh, dude. Look, they're ready to give it to her, too. Yeah, you ain't got no friends left, Cersei. That's the whole queen's mother being just like, that's wild. What a wild world they live in. She There's might remember letters. y'all's faces, though. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to be shouting. That lady hasn't given that shame up, either. I'm kind of ready for this to be over. This is making me kind of nauseous. That's the worst walk ever, man. I mean, to be honest, though, if I was Cersei, I'd be kind of elitist, too. I'd hate those people. I would think they were gross and just not worth my time. Right, but they're also, like, suffering. Yeah, I know. I get it. But I'm just saying, if I was Cersei, it's so far. That'd suck, man. Oh, look at her feet. Man. She just wants to get back to Tommen, huh? Tommen didn't even visit her. Oh, wow. That's terrible. I mean, it's good to have you back. He was confused to see her crying. Come. We'll take you inside. I need to have a look at those feet. May I have the honor of presenting the newest member of the King's Guard? Oh. What the hell? Is that the mountain? He looks so scary. If it please your grace, he has taken a holy vow of silence. He has sworn that he will not speak until all his grace's enemies are dead. Well, hell yeah. And evil has been driven from the realm. Wow. That was just kind of... Hold on. Can we talk about it? I know we're almost done, guys, but can we talk about that? How do you feel about that? Like a Frankenstein? No, no, no. I'm just saying that whole thing that just happened. Was that like... Like, guys, you know that we don't exactly... Lo well, me, I, let me speak for myself. I don't love this whole story arc with this whole high stepping thing. It just seemed to come out of nowhere, and it's just kind of like... You know what I'm saying? I feel like it, it saturates the power of the crown to me. You know, I don't want to see the power of the crown be saturated. Right. But anyways... Um, that was absolutely wild. That's crazy. Mm. And I feel like Cersei's Cersei whole motivation for life now is going to be to just destroy these people. Yeah. And I don't know how she's going to respond to her own people because how do you rule a class of people you hate and despise? And she hates them on a absolute gut level. They're right. spitting in her face. She hates them and they, they hate her. Holy cow, man. And obviously S -S -S Stannis is dead, right? I, I mean, I didn't know. see I the final cut, it, but yeah. that was the implication. Come on, guys. We got about, I guess, maybe 10 minutes I'm left or so, but any come on. Wildlings will make a difference. The wildlings will never fight for Stannis. I told him before. You saved their bloody lives. If they're going to live in the Seven Kingdoms, safe behind our wall, they ought to fight for the damn place. It's not their fight. Yeah, I don't know. John done convinced them about the fight in the north. Oh, that's probably confusing to everybody. Stannis. Oh, no. Chewing the princess. Oh my gosh. She didn't mention the part she burned her alive. Right. Does he feel guilty? Like he could have went and helped? Lord Commander. Yeah, he does. He, he really does. You brought back. Says he knows your uncle Benjen. Says he's still alive. Whoa. Are you sure he's talking about Benjen? Said he was first ranger. Man says he saw your uncle at hard on the last full moon. Could be lying. Could be. No ways to find out. Over there. Oh! <laughs> what? For the watch. For the watch. No way. For the watch. Damn it! I don't want John to die. There's no one I like. Oh no. For the watch. Oh my god. No. They're ruining the freaking show by taking out all the best characters. Dude. No wonder everyone hates it. Don't you do it, little bro. Oh my. Man, this sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Don't do it. <gasps> For the watch. Oh man, dude, like what in the world? I feel so betrayed. Is there any character at the Night's Watch that we even like right now? Other than Sam? Where's Ed? <sighs> the freaking sucks.
Arts. Bastard of Eddard Stark. Oh my god. That's it. That was the end of this freaking season, guys. Jon <sighs> Snow is dead. And I'm I'm mad because like when Rob died, I really liked Rob's character and all, but there was still there was still so much going on. But at this point, I feel sort of like John's character was sort of wasted. Like, do you not get that feeling at all? Like, do you get what I'm trying to say? I feel like he had so much to do, but I guess like he progressed the the White Walker storyline so far. Like they needed him because he saw all that. He's I mean, seen it all. He tried to find him. He knows he's the only person that knows Valyrian Steelworks. Sam is gonna go. Well, if Sam can still leave because John's dead, but Sam can go discover that. Maybe he's about to go be a maester. He'll learn things. Guys, it just really sucks because I feel like John's character still had so much to do to me because I was only really starting to like him because I feel like the whole show, they've been hyping this guy up like he was something, but maybe he was nothing more than just a character that they needed to kill off because his story, he did what he had to do. Like John's purpose in life was to unite the the wildlings but then again he didn't really get accomplished that honestly right because if they're gonna kill him then how are they gonna like they're gonna be at war up right. there oh, for man. no reason it's just gonna make things bad that's crazy so as far as i'm concerned stannis is dead right i mean do we call um brianne was so set on killing him unless he no nah, he i don't yeah, know he's dead. Um, unless he's brianne be got captured last minute and we don't know it but geez louise wow. i'm sorry like i just needed a second that hurt i really that wanted really to talk hurt. about cersei but that really just i don't even care about cersei's storyline because of that yeah like, that, that is... really hurt i don't know why it's because i guess like seeing the stark kids dwindle so, because john's a stark to me i don't care what anyone's is. he's a stark that freaking sucks <laughs> like that's it and it sucks because we saw ramsey a bastard get his name john didn't get that but john rose really high for a bastard man he went to the wall and titles didn't matter there and he eventually was able to reset and become ward commander of the night i thought Watch. he was gonna leave like a legacy i really did i thought like well his legacy is to be determined you know if they destroyed the whites and stuff then maybe he did leave the way oh wait is it only people who are dead north of the wall who come back as whites <gasps> they have to burn him yeah they gotta burn him now oh my god what if he comes back as a white walker maybe it's completely possible um that's I don't know what to crazy say, because man. He knows I, so much about it. I don't know, man. I just don't really, because my thing is, you guys have been telling us from the beginning, Game of Thrones don't get attached to these characters, and dude, like this might be a perfect example. I really sort of learned that lesson with Rob, but I really messed around and was starting to really like John's character because it's starting to become slim pickings, like on yeah. who I like. It really is, and I'm, I'm I like Tyrion, I like Arya, I like Jorah, I like yeah. Davos, I like definitely Sansa. Mm -hmm. but none of these none of these people are players to be in charge like right. they're all like side b characters none of them none of them can make a push towards like yeah kingdom so i guess it's so, daenerys now yeah so we like daenerys and we like you know guys it's i weird. like tommen i mean there's nothing wrong with tommen he's just i, I don't boy. like tommen i don't like tommen one bit i think tommen is i, I mean he's just, just a little, little boy. boy i mean yeah i don't boy. dislike him he's a little boy but he's just a little boy like i don't like him being in power like, oh no i mean he's just a little boy with no guidance he's off to a terrible start basically i mean yeah that whole thing just popped off in front of him as but what can he do it's tough he, like, i mean yeah he tried. And you can't trust him. anyone if you're him this episode was crazy man like just from start to finish like I would rank that episode in my top. My thing is when we go back to the wall, like every time I see the, every time we were watching the intro and I see the wall, I think, oh yeah, I wonder what John's up to. John's probably making some like Dude, rat stew at the wall, right? I don't even want to think where it comes, like where it's going to go from here. Someone's going to have to carry this storyline now because John was really the only thing in town over there. Like he was obviously the star in that storyline. So I don't know, man. I, I have, I just have the gut feeling he's going to be a white walker. My prediction is that the story is probably going to move away from the wall or something, right? Yeah. Because there's so many people there. I don't see all these free folk, you know, man in the wall. They're going to move south. And I think the story will move there maybe. And the Stark family is getting smaller, guys. So it wouldn't be surprised. You know, like if Sansa got murdered by Ramsay at this point, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Right. I like really wouldn't just, be surprised. It's almost like they have, to, they have to kill him off or something. It's like. It's like if you're a Stark, you gotta go or something. Like it's like there's hits on them everywhere. 
maybe Arya will be the only like and Arya is a whole thing we got to talk about like what's up with her like that was crazy she was that little girl and then she was her and she killed Mary was the mini face god or something like that yeah and I'm still really confused about it because when she's wiping those faces that that really just kind of threw me off about it I guess it's some type of like religious thing but there's some like real powerful magic and like or maybe something supernatural going on because literally when he killed himself, he proved a man is no one. Like he really wasn't the person he claimed to be. And then Arya tried to figure out who the person was and the person was still no one. Right. I just thought it was something as it simple. It wore many faces. I thought it was something as simple as like, they're kind of like the background characters when you can't pay your money to the iron people. So they just like kill you off with that little drink. Yeah. Maybe. That's what I thought it was. I thought they would just bring you there and do that. But obviously it's way more than that because the, all those faces and stuff like, I don't know. Maybe you can be those people. I don't know. I just don't know where this is going because it's so chaotic. Like the people of Dorne just started a war with the Lannisters. Yes, they Cersei did. hasn't realized that. Her whole mentality is set is going to be set on revenge, destroying the enemies. But those enemies are domestic and they're also abroad. So enemy is a very broad term. To right, because they're so effed over there with all that high septon stuff going on or the high sparrow stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's too much going on. Like. The kingdom's gonna end up breaking apart and falling, just kind of like Rome Within did. Within itself, like all the yes. internal politics and stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's a very corrupt society. So, um, and it appears to be a society past its heyday or something. Like something's got to give in it. With, um, with John gone though, like that takes away like the whole like White Walker story kind of because no one else really cares about that. And he's and he he's the one who saw that. Yeah, he's. He was like firsthand and Sam was too. Well, so like everyone there, they might just get caught off guard and everyone might be F. Melisandre still knows. She does. She knows. So. But how long is she going to stay there? She, okay. So here's my prediction, right? Mm -hmm. There's a vacuum at the wall. Melisandre is going to go. She's going to take over this. She's going to make the whole wall crazy. I don't know. Like believe that's, that's about as far as my theory right. goes. Yeah, just just very believing shallow. in stuff. <laughs> yeah. Something like somebody's got to be the leader. Who's going to be the new war commander? You think? Somebody we don't even know. It's probably just going to be Alistair Thorne. You think so? Yeah, I mean, I think he just kind of took over that role and is running with it right now. Yeah, but it's kind of hard to, like, murder someone. It's hard to, like, murder the Lord Commander and be like, okay, I should be the Lord Commander. Because now it's sort of like open season on Lord Commanders, you know? Right. Well, maybe it will be Ollie president. or something. <laughs> I don't know about that little kid right now. Like, I'm he's really just annoyed a little kid at him. And all, but that's... Like, that was so... That was such betrayal. <laughs> Like, if you think John's wrong, that's one thing. But just a complete... Like, these people just seem unwilling to deal with the fact that winter is coming. We all know what that means in terms of, like, the war that comes with it. And it's just a term of... It's just it's just a matter of numbers and statistics right. and mathematics at this point. And, like... They're playing their, like, own little Game of Thrones at the wall, kind of. Well, they're like, bitter, though. Like, I you mean, know I, how emotions and I get are. It. They I override get it. everything. I get it that they've been fighting those people for years. But, yeah. like, there's no denying that winter's coming. You guys know it. We all know it. Just band together, dude. Like, just get get your well, foot out of your butt. Well, I think a lot of people butt. don't know it there still. Like, seeing's believing in a way, you know? Like, Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they'll see soon enough, trust. And the thing about men is sometimes, like, men just mess around and mess around and mess around until, like, they just don't really have a choice. And then they want to spring into action. And men do that a lot. Well, they're going to do it when it's too late because they just killed off the only person who was preparing for it, so to say. I hated seeing Stannis go mainly because like I I did have a thing for Stannis in terms of like I liked his character a lot. Um, some of my favorite lines from Stannis is "So you're a literary man? What do you think of that?" <laughs> One of my favorites, and, then, and your other is um, "We shall see Renly." We shall see Renly. <laughs> yeah, those were the two best lines from Stannis. And no, I like when he said when he said "You'll kill hundreds." He said Thou and it was like hundreds will die. He goes thousands. Yeah, and it's like. Bro, chill. <laughs> you know how when you're watching your sports team and you're like, man, I sure do love the Atlanta Braves. And then three years later, you realize the whole team's different from top to bottom. Yeah. That's sort of how Game of Thrones is turning yeah. out right now. Um, yeah, it's strange how you start one way and like, I, but I, honestly, I've started liking the Starks and I still like the Starks, but I also like Daenerys. I'm a, I like the Targaryens as well. So I like Daenerys too. I, I like them both. Absolutely. I really like that storyline and I really like it more now that Tyrion's over there. I feel like right. that sort of rounds it out, edges it out a and little bit. And Tyrion is a small reason why I like the Lannisters. Yeah. Well, something that something that is so, something I haven't really considered that much, man, is Daenerys Don't get me wrong, like Westeros is just as equally as brutal, but mm -hmm. the customs and the traditions in Essos are so like ancient. Mm 
mm-hmm. in a way. And so it's just like different, right? right? And so she's dealing with like a completely different Just a beast whole bunch a of different problems. And what, <clears throat> going off what you just said, when Tyrion and Varys were all stand, were standing there saying like, we have this and they were naming all these chaotic things they have to sit there and control. They were just basically saying like, here we are, it's same same shit, different day. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Basically, yeah, like, absolutely. yeah, that's what I, that's exactly where yeah. I, what I gathered from that. And to me, it was just like it was kind of feel good because maybe just maybe they'll end up finding their place there. Yeah, like actually being heard instead of people like playing around like like King Robert. Or maybe it'll all completely blow up in their right. Faces, or it could just you know? go really bad. You know, it yeah. could go the other way. But like maybe next episode, Tyrion will have his head on a spike. We never know. Scam, I mean, this, that's crazy. the thing about this show. You just never know. I never thought Jon Snow. I really didn't. I just I don't Bro, know what I thought about. Jon this Snow, sounds honestly. silly, but I was like, I was thinking maybe eventually he could be like, not necessarily like the king, but like maybe like lead armies become like oh, yeah. a warden of or the like north be like, or like be yeah. somebody and i know he was lord commander and i get that but right. i just feel like at the end of the day well i would be interested to know what you guys think but at the end of the day i just feel like this show's better with john snow's character yes definitely right. it is like when they killed rob like i got it i'm like yo i get it this show's crazy like i understand right. what it is that was crazy that was dope didn't see it coming but with john it felt like it almost seemed like they had such an amazing, shocking moment in their back pocket, but they was like, dude, if we use it up, then we have to live with it. And they just decided to do it. And I just don't know how I feel about it. Right. I, like, do you ever like predict the shocking moments that are coming? Cause for me, the moment I thought that well, yeah, was gonna yeah, yeah, be shocking sure. was I thought in this episode or maybe in a couple, we were gonna see Sansa or Arya or one of the three like see each other. And I thought that you were was waiting gonna, on that forever, I've, though. dude. Like, I well, I look really for it every that. episode. Like I'm yeah. like sitting here, like anticipating the crap out of it. That's like, not something that I'm sitting there particularly thinking about. But I know I want every it time. So bad. <laughs> I just know that at any point something crazy could happen, and I know that as a show writer and all that, every shocking moment you don't want to make predict like predictable. Yeah, and that's that's what I like about so it. So it could that's be episode three, yeah. twelve minutes in, and then bang, dude, Cersei's dead. So right, right you know, I, I don't know. Um, and the thing now is, like, now that Jamie's headed back to King's Landing with bad news for with Cersei. bad news, but King's Landing's shaken up, Cersei's shaken up. What are they gonna do? Like, are they gonna fight Dorne? How can they? We really could talk about this for hours. I, I mean, because like, remember when we were talking about how Cersei on. was so disappointed in Jamie for losing his hand and for leaving her alone and yeah. blah, blah, blah. What about now? He left her alone she's again. She's vulnerable now. Even at her own command. She's not going to care about that. All she's going to feel is like, oh, you're not here. You failed my daughter. You failed me. Oh, Cersei's boy. about to become a loose cannon. I'm The most interesting dynamic in this show to me right now is Tyrion, Daenerys, number one. Number yeah. two, Cersei. How does she right. deal with How this? How does she come back? Does she come back a different, a humble person? Or does she come back with like a huge chip on her shoulder and just like... I don't know if I mentioned it, but my favorite storyline, I don't know if I locked it in at number one but i really like Jon snow's story Me i too. liked it i liked the Man. whole you know because it's so it was like a come up it was like a come up story like 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 he did all this stuff and like then the men finally voted for who they believed in and they believed in Jon snow and then poof just like that he's gone because it was a half and half battle it was almost like the death is is one and you know the death is you there's plenty of death there's plenty of kings dying there's plenty of turnover all that stuff's to be expected and all. But the one thing that really seemed like revolutionary in the show was, you know, uniting uniting the Night's Watch with the walk with the with the with the free folk, basically. Yeah, the like that seemed yeah. like like something of legend, basically. And John was responsible for that. He basically gave his life for it. He believed in it so much. Um and it was like obviously I don't know if he was right to do it. it it's just one of the, I don't know. In my gut, I feel like it's a number of mathematics and you have to do it. And it's like, you have to, at that point, you have to find the humanity in, in the free folk because right. if, if not, you know, you're going to find the humanity in something when the walkers are on you. Right. And John gave his life for it. And it was just so shocking to see him die for it. And I just don't think the show is going to be as good. I ain't gonna Me either. So you got any other predictions or like anything you think could happen? Any dynamics you want to talk about anything? Um, 
you know, obviously I could sit here. I could, obviously I could sit here and make predictions. Like I can make predictions with Cersei. What about with the dragons though? Can you do you have any predictions with the dragons? Like what's up with Drogon? I just feel like Drogon's doing the same thing Charizard did in Pokemon. Sort of he pouting. Just <laughs> like <laughs> he, wasn't ready, loved, to, he Dro- wasn't ready to level up. <laughs> maybe Drogon loves his mom, but she's got to earn that respect. Maybe he's. I don't know, man. Maybe he just don't feel like a dragon, you know? This is silly, but I thought he was pregnant. <laughs> I don't know. I thought he was just being lazy because he was, like, pregnant or you something. You mean she? I, I thought it was a she, yeah. I thought, I was like, maybe she's about to find out he's a she. Uh, <laughs> um. Because I thought, like, you know, it was, you like. thought it was Dragon? <laughs> I don't know. I, I was, like, I, I thought she was just, like. That's why she's oh, you thought lazy. they were like incest dragons? No, I just thought like maybe it would. Well, it they're left, brother and sister. I, when it left off, oh yeah, but yeah. That well, who's she been sleeping but with? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Maybe we just don't know. It oh, came, maybe there's more dragons out there. Yeah, we're getting silly at this point, guys. But like, that's, comment, but that's subscribe. what I thought. But that's what I thought. You know, when it was like, no, I'm not flying. Forget it. Just feed me. I was like, you know, maybe I was just pregnant. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. To be determined with the dragons. I've never really been a dragon, so it's hard for me to look back. And, Right. Like I haven't been one either. Oh, maybe I'll call Smog and ask him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, R. Maybe R. the dragon needs gold. Maybe. M- maybe it needs to go back to Koth, the greatest city that ever was or ever will be. Right. Um, hit us up on Patreon, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Turn on notification bells. If you guys really want to help the channel, what actually turns out what really helps if you guys really want to like, you know, show us some love is like to like the video. If mm-hmm. you like it, it just tells YouTube that like show it to more people because if people are willing to like take their time to actually like the video then YouTube will give it to a broader audience. And there's still so many people every day who are saying that they're just now discovering. New to it, yeah. Right, and I think that's really cool. And I feel like when we're done with the series, which we're getting close, then it's probably going to, like, die. No one will really see it unless they scroll deep into the archive. So, you know, obviously we want as much people to see it as we can because we're going to start uh, House, of Dra- <laughs> House of Dragons, and we just want people over there too. So, all right, guys, that's about it. Peace.